So this is my bottling setup here. You can see that uh, you can see that it's uh, just a bucket with a with a tap on the bottom, and I've got a bottling stick that actually goes right in there. And I have measured out my sugar solution, and it's not boiling, but it's been boiled, but it shouldn't make a difference with this much uh, volume of liquid that it's still pretty hot. I don't bother to cool it down too much. And actually, my, my thief is already sterilized, so I'm just going to use that to give it a little mix around. Usually I put in the sugar first and then rack on top of it, but I was blending these together, so kind of had to stop and taste a little bit. So I couldn't really couldn't really put in the sugar first because I didn't know how much how much beer I was actually gonna get. But alright, now the sugar solution. You don't wanna you don't wanna like mix air into it, so I'm just doing it pretty gently. Now the sugar solution should be pretty uh, should be pretty um, even in there. Now let me show you how this thing works. If I can find my all the pieces of my bottling wand. So, I've got this bottling wand here, which has come apart, so I took it all apart to clean it. Oh, this bit goes in, this little bit goes in first, then the spring, then that goes on one end of this tube, and this is a, an adapter piece that goes on here. And then just star sand the whole thing down. I already sterilized this bucket and everything, but never not never not sanitizing is the key. So basically I'm just gonna open that tap up and beer once I once I release the the button down here with the bottle, the beer will flow out and I can um I can just uh, fill from there, and uh, I'll show you that in just a second. All right, now we've got the um, my setup. I'm usually <laughs> bottling with a partner who's capping, but all by myself today. So take a bottle, and I put it on here. Now the beer comes down through the bottling stick, and then it fills up and I let it come almost right up to the very, very top. And then once I take the stick out, I just kind of do a little extra squirt in there, put a cap on, bring it down. Oh, come on. There we go. This one's a little difficult sometimes. And then twist off. And then you just repeat the process. So bottle on here. Let it fill. Um, yep, just let it fill right up. All the way to the top. Then I just depress the thing, give it a little, usually leave about that much space some some brewers leave you know a little little more space there but i'm actually this is do it i don't know that's how much i do off and then um i mean the best part about you this uh setup and you can buy these at most uh homebrew uh, shops, they'll sell them as bottling buckets or, you know, uh, you if you get the right kind of spigot, you can get this adapter for a bottle filler. And the it's just, I mean, it's amazing. If you've ever, like me, when I started out, I had to put the bottle, uh, uh, the bottling wand 
on the end of my um, on the end of my siphon hose. And I mean that is just a, a mess waiting to happen. And in fact, I I had a mess quite a few times. My wife wasn't happy. And um, you can see that this is so much faster. Uh, you can sit here and do it alone. You, uh, it's even faster with somebody who's doing the the capping while while one person's doing the filling. But I mean here it's been you know like less than a minute. I've already got four bottles out. So this is I can recommend this if you if you're bottling beer as one of your first uh, you know home brewery upgrades is to get a a bottling bucket like this. I went, you know, the first couple of years of brewing and bottling without it. And oh, <laughs> don't do that. You do have to pay attention a little bit. Also, these bench cappers are really nice. Uh, this one isn't mine, but I'm borrowing it from one of the other brewers. But it's also really nice. But yeah, you just keep going. Uh, eventually, Eventually, when you get down below the um, the tap, you will have to kind of, you know, lean this. I usually put like a little piece of wood underneath here to kind of lean it forward to get the last, last liter or two out. But you can see how fast this is going, and it's just so much nicer. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my bottling video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing or thumbs upping. And uh, I have a lot more homebrewing content on the channel and a lot more coming up. So feel free to click around through the videos and uh, check me out on other social media. That would be great too. Leave me a comment and uh, well, just thanks for watching.